of South of the Corpus, Alex Ishima. Okay. Um, this, this is the uh, ap apocalyptic piece. Um, I found the movement to be, okay, I found that the vibe of the piece dead on. Um, I, th I, I found it really compelling. Um, there was the one dancer, the main dancer, I thought she really set the tone for, of, of, the, of the piece. She never wavered from, th this is a great example of, of someone who approaches a piece for the piece. I felt like she really did that. I don't, I've never seen her dance before. But the commitment to the style of the piece was 100% for me. Um, and, and being the main dancer, she set the tone for the rest of the ensemble. And I thought that the entire ensemble was completely committed to the, um, to the message of this piece. I loved the movement vocabulary. I thought there were some great moments of uh, unexpected moments for me. There was one where everyone was in second pleading and three dancers moved off in another direction and it took my breath away <gasps> because it, I just felt the sinking of the darkness of it and then the descent, the, the escape from that. It's a very strong visual concept for me. Um, there was another one where the, there were some legs up that point that the lights all went up at one time. I don't know if you can figure out where that part was, but that was another moment for me that was striking that made me go, um, and pulled me deeper into the concept. Um, I love the movement vocabulary. Okay, now here I go again. I hated the edits and the music. I, I, I found this piece that I was so completely committed to watching and the minute that it, uh, an edited section would stop, I got angry. Now partially I got angry because it was a dark piece and I was supposed to be angry, the subject matter. So, so there's, there's a beauty in that. If that's your intention, that's fabulous. If you want to make people angry by doing that, that's a great tool and, and totally acceptable. Um, but it did make me angry because it took me out of the piece for a moment. I just want to challenge everyone in the room and put just a question out there. I would love at these things to see more original music. There have got to be music departments attached to so many of your dance, or right next door. Go next door, walk over, find a composer who's looking to learn something, get them to create some music, and start creating your own climaxes. Then you get to call when the climax is going to come. You have much more control if you get the music written for you. Okay, let's just... Um, so I had a little trouble with this piece, actually. It's not, it's not necessarily in my um, movement zone. So at first, I, I think I, I put it in a kind of category um, and thought, oh, yeah, well, I've seen a lot of that. Um, and, and then I have to say, I appreciated the intensity and the commitment of the dancers, but then there was a circle and the soloist and, um, and the, they walk off and the soloist stays on and I had a totally different take on the piece after that because this, this solo was, um, you know, if my dancers danced like that, I would be in heaven. And it, it was just so totally committed and so um, in the moment and invested risk-taking and determined. Um, it's just inspiring to see someone take that kind of chance on stage. Um, so for me, I felt like, you know, this is somebody who has something really important to say, and she was determined to say it, come hell or high water, and I applaud that 100%, and um, it turned the piece around for me. So uh, I, I, I like that the, uh, it, it's not my vocabulary, but I like that the vocabulary was worked and developed. Um, and I just felt like these dancers, the soloist in particular, and the whole group, um, you know, was like, take no prisoners and just go for it. So I, I admire that. Yes. Um, <clears throat> same for me. I, I uh, don't live there. And that, 
that world, but I can totally appreciate it. And I, I found myself, once I allowed myself to, to open up, which I'm trying to be open as, as possible, I, I, I saw um, all the elements a little bit more clearly and more strongly. A uh, strong ensemble work, ensemble, ensemble, yeah, I mean, it, working together, that's what it's all about, and you guys, yeah, it was great. Um, nice choreographic elements, the use of the canon, um, there, was, uh, there was like one by one, but then you developed it into, there was one dancer who did this the big the push and went to the one group, and then she went, uh, yeah, went backwards and did it again. Another group, I don't know, I thought that was yummy. And um, <laughs> other things I saw, military, I thought of military, the military, ROTC at the beginning. I don't know why. Very, maybe it's the lines, the lineup, but um, I enjoyed the range of the rhythmic changes. There were some rhythmic changes. Um, two things for me that to um, think about, um, maybe, or for me, editing, because I think editing is an important thing to do, and it's hard to do, but um, just sort of trying to go back and look at, to look at what's needed and what's really not needed sometimes, and if, if you really feel like you've said what you need to say. Uh, that's all I'll say about that. And then the last thing really quickly is there was uh, two things real quickly, and then <laughs> I agree with the solo Jerry was talking about. I was so, when that happened, I was so incredibly engaged. The last thing, there's one movement thing that really stood out to me was the group was upstage right and it was when it started to get really fast uh, rhythmically at the end, it kind of got darker and you did this one little kick thing and the whole group was like slid to a little towards stage left and I, I, that took my breath away. I just wanted to say that.